Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you're new here, I'm currently making videos about the 42 exam library. If that kind of content floats your boat, drop me a sub. Today's question is alpha mirror. And this is a little bit similar to the rot, to the rot, to the rot, rot one and rot 13. The one key difference though, is that with the rots, you're actually just rotating it a specific amount. In this one, it's dynamically changing based off of the char that's passed to it. It's a different value every time. So you're not just rotating one or 13 or whatever. For example, A becomes Z, capital Z becomes A. That's just an easy flip. But then you get other characters like D turns into W and M goes to N. It would be better to see this visually before we dive into the coding. So let's do that. To do this one requires looking back at the good old ASCII table again. It says that if we're given A, it should return Z. And if it's D, it'll write W and M should write N. So we'll use that to our advantage. But let's take a look at D to W first. So we have D here. And also let's imagine that we are examining this as just a basic 25, 26 char array, okay? With the ASCII table, each individual char has a specific int value associated with it. But in order for me to outline this in the clearest sense possible, we're just going to assume that we're working with one char array of 26 characters long, okay? Looking at this, D is the fourth element in the char array, fourth element at the third index position. Likewise, W is also the fourth element from the right this time, from the end of the char array. We can use this. Calculating C, that would just be C minus A is equal to three. It's the third index position. Three minus zero is three. Now we can take that and work it from this end. 25 minus three is equal to 22, which is the W, which satisfies this. So how do we print out the new char? We need to say C is equal to Z minus C minus A. And this of course is just representing the lower case and of course just our basic char array. But when we're working with the actual ASCII table, the int values of each of these characters is gonna be different. And we're going to need a set for the lower case and a set for the upper case. So let's take a look at that. Okay, cool. The one thing that's strange about this question is it doesn't tell you anything about a new line if there's no arguments passed or what. So I think it would be a good idea to play it safe and just make a check if, you're, if the argument count is two, given you're, you've passed a, an argument to it, then it'll do something. If not, just write a new line. So what I've done down here is I've already done that. Done, 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 done. That was for good measure. Anyways, if ac equals two, while av1 at spot i, we're going to go up here and do this print mirror. And i is the index position, because if you pass a string, you're gonna have a bunch of characters. So print mirror of av1 i++. So every time, we're going to iterate the i, and we're going to come up here and do whatever this is. But now you know the methodology. Now we're gonna program it. And it's just as easy as we talked about. The only thing is, we're going to have two sets of characters. If C is greater than or equal to little a, and C is less than or equal to little z, we are going to say C equals little z minus C, mi C minus little a. And we're going to just copy that because we're going to have an else if here. Now we need to change these to the capital variety. Now that's all done. Now we just want to write whatever C is at this point. One byte and done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now let's test it. One of these days I will actually write this out without having typos, but it's not today. There we go, bit by bit. Okay, let's use these up here. So let's take, uh, this was A that out and we'll pass in A, A, Z, D, and M. So we should have Z from the first one, capital A from the second one, little w from the third one, and capital N from the fourth one. Good stuff. I guess you can just play around with it at, at this point. Yeah, that's good stuff. 
What about, let's say your name is Sean. Yeah. <laughs> if you had a good grasp on ROT1 and ROT13, I don't really understand why this one would have been in EX02 and the others was in EX01. They're very similar. The only difference is instead of a, a specific static rotation, you have a dynamic one based off of the different char you're getting past here. You know, you're always finding the distance between your char pass in the beginning of the alphabet and then you're subtracting that off of the tail end to get your answer. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did and you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. All it costs is a quick second. Right down there. Check it out. Smash that like button and I'll see you in the next one.